Hey YouTube, it has been a long time and uh, we need to do a little bit of catch up. We need to talk about what's going on in this video. And so, um, I, what we're doing is we are building a, a wine cellar door. It's a, um, about, gosh, it's just shy of three foot wide by eight foot tall. It's basically just the frame around the door and it's going to be uh, uh, tubular steel and then a steel frame that it hangs on and then it's getting a piece of half inch plate glass which I'm not providing the glass I'm not doing that part of it I just have to get it to where we can hang it and install it um, <clears throat> so the last several days uh, which I haven't really been t keeping too much to track of too much uh, we've been doing some stuff like uh, I, I designed uh, rivets for this. Uh, I, 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 the, the door handle I just called I spec out for rivets, and so anyway, the last few days I've been building tooling. I still have one more piece of tooling I have to build, and that's going to happen right now. Uh, and then we're going to be building the handles, which are uh, here's a drawing right there. Uh, uses uh, some one inch bar for the, the grip and then it gets some uh, uh, half by one uh, flat bar for the, the brackets and stuff like that and it all gets riveted together and it'll get riveted to the door and that's what we've been doing so uh, rather than drag this out too long about all the stuff but uh, <clears throat> A few things that have happened in the last several months. I think it's been nine, ten months since I last uh, posted a video, which was where we built the new uh, forge uh, pan and stuff. Uh, I've been using it, been using the heck out of it the last few days. Uh, I, my, my chin pubes have come in. Um, I have, uh, just to hit on it real quick, I do have... I did finally get an anvil. I don't know if that I've ever mentioned that, but I got this anvil. This is a hay bud, and then I've got a little uh, little Trenton hanging down there. And then I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned it in a previous video or not, but I also have this little power hammer back here. This is a uh, little giant Easy Helve. I think is what they call it, Easy Hammer, Easy Helve Hammer, something. We're gonna tear that apart and rebuild him. Uh, I still have my Harbor Freight ASO and. Um, out in the backyard I got a length of railroad track which uh, <clears throat> I plan on making uh, videos for each of these anvils that are or maybe one for all of them but I'm going to be, be building proper bases matter of fact this is how this is how things have been going um, underneath this little bag of coal you'll see this wrapped up little pallet that is uh, the plate that I had um, that's the plate that I had CNC cut for uh, my anvil base for the little Trenton. Uh, so I do have plans. We're going to try and get these things, start rolling these things out uh, in the coming weeks and months and stuff. I've been kind of, I've just been busy with other things that are just not interesting. And so we want to get back into the garage. Um, even the format, you know, we changed the... The, the format, I, I created a whole thing called Oh My Garage, and I had big plans for that. It was going to be, um, we were going to have interviews and, and a whole bunch of stuff like that, a show and tell, and, and I even made arrangements for meeting with people to, to do interviews of what they're doing in their garage, and it didn't happen. Uh, it just, I got pulled away. I've been working at a place uh, called Hondo Incorporated or Hondo Chemical or whatever, but they do soil amendments and what they work with a lot is sulfur. And they've had me out there doing uh, mechanic and fabrication and all that kind of stuff and setting the place on fire when I, at every opportunity that I can. And for those of you that aren't familiar with it, sulfur burns really easily and uh, it stinks really bad. Kind of scary to work around, but uh, once you get used to it, it's not such a big deal, but uh, anyway, let's get back to work, and uh, like I said, in the next, well, for you, 
minutes, but the next couple of days we're going to be building this cellar door. So, uh, yeah, let's get busy. Those marks just a little deeper, so they're easier to find on the butcher. All I'm doing here. There we go. Nice. Like this. This. That's them. Um, they're not perfect, but I am thoroughly pleased with them. Uh, ran into a couple of little problems with things. Uh, there's, yeah, look at that. So to tidy up the shoulder, uh, I was driving it through. Ooh, <laughs> it's still hot. Anyway. Um, driving it through that bar and I, I started off on the uh, vise but the vise wasn't holding it so I shifted over to the anvil uh, worked a lot better m much more stable although I need to I do need to get my base for these anvils built bases for these anvils the other thing that uh, was a little bit screwy that I should have predicted when I started using this little guy right here these edges were sharp so you can see on the 3 8 I haven't softened it yet but uh, I softened the one on the half inch, and the thing was, it was putting bite marks in the uh, in the in the tenon. Uh, those are I those are great. I'm I'm absolutely excited and thrilled. They will clean up. I will clean them up a little bit more. And tomorrow afternoon, maybe I'll be able to forge the handle and get those drilled and put and set these in the handle. So. Uh, it's time for a break. that ladies and gentlemen I made some handles
you look how pretty those two rivets are. That one's got a little bit of a flashing around the edge. That one turned out really nice. And those are the two, the second two that I did. The unfortunate part is the first two I did are over here and they're not as pretty. But they are set quite firmly. I'm gonna leave them. I might, I, I might get a wild hair and whoops, might get a wild hair and trim that flashing off somehow. I don't know. So that's those two handles, and that throws me in a way that you can't possibly imagine. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna shut down here a little bit. I'm almost out of charcoal. Uh, Costco has a really good deal on some hard lump charcoal and I may just buy a few bags of that rather than trying to fire up the kiln. Uh, right now I don't even have anything to put in it so uh, I'm just gonna go get some chump, lump, lump charcoal, chump charcoal, something. Anyway, uh, then we can get back. At the same time I gotta go out and pick up a piece of steel that I didn't get ordered so shut it down and come back later. Um, we got these handles forged finally. I went back and cleaned up the rivets on there. I, uh, what I did was uh, I used the torch and uh, trimmed off the flashing and heated them up and reset them and really, actually what's really sad is the ones I cleaned up ended up better than the ones that weren't so, I don't know. But they look good, I think. Uh, next stop. Next step in our door here is to actually build a door. The door is really basic as far as uh, its appearance. It uh, I've got most of the parts cut. We're going to have to, the frame, I have to do some, a little bit of cutting and some mitering and that kind of stuff. Uh, I need to, uh, so this is the door facing. This is a piece of fabricated angle that uh, it's quarter inch and I had them shear it and then break it here uh, so that it's nice this stuff should be really straight so anyway uh, it sets in the door so this is effectively it's gonna set kinda like this I guess is the way to look at it so the door closes against here and then inside this this screws against the jam so I've got a pre-drill the holes where the screws are going along the length and then um, we will uh, I don't have the screws yet the the screws we're going to use yet but they'll be countersunk and I can do that I can actually do that after but the first hole we're going to mark them I'm going to trim them to length mark them drill them and uh, maybe and then cut the cut the miters and go ahead and uh, tack that together the door frame itself is actually, it's, it's a massively overbuilt structure, but uh, it's holding, like I, I think I may have mentioned before, it's holding a 200 pound piece of glass, or a 300 pound piece of glass in between, is what I'm told. But uh, it's basically these two frames here, and then they get a, a 5 8 inch spacer between them. So it's actually, this door is actually going to be... What is that? Two and well, it's going to be two and five eighths inches thick. It's a big, heavy, heavy, heavy door. So you know we got to keep our wine safe. So uh, that's what I'm hoping to get done today. We're going to hope to get all that the, the, the door facing and all that kind of stuff tacked together. And uh, so let's get started.
I'm not ashamed to admit that sometimes I design stuff and agree to do projects that I don't entirely know how I'm going to do them or how they should be done, but this is one example. Uh, these handles, I really was not sure how I was going to attach them. I knew what I wanted them to look like. I knew pretty much how to do all the joinery here and with the little things, but how to make it look riveted how to attach them where they're, they're, they appear to be riveted to a piece of tubular steel. Wasn't real sure. Uh, so originally I drew it as though I was just going to rivet right through the first wall. And that just got to be problematic. So um, what we did was I made the little rivets. And um, I just... I cut the length and I set them in my little riveting tool and, and, and set the rivet in here and I heated it up with a torch and hammered it and then used my rivet set and then I used my little air hammer with a little rivet set that I built. Um, and then we had the rivet run long enough so that when I come through the back, we just did a little plug weld on the back side. And then you can see here, after it was all done, we just... Uh, you know, ground it flush and, you know, because it had a bevel, you know, so there was a bevel cut. So that there's actually weld metal still left behind there. So, yeah, that uh, looks pretty good. All right, boys and girls, I think that's pretty much it. I think it's built. Um, aside from uh, getting it installed, which I hope to get some uh, some photos of it when it's done, uh, that's it. Uh, the finish was done with uh, the uh, weed burner, the big, the, my big fancy weed burner, which is you know one of those exotic things from Harbor Freight Tools and a lot of propane and uh, the uh, uh, beeswax actually to give it the color 
and darken it and stuff. And then we cleaned it up and I put a clear coat on it. So that's pretty much him. I've got a few more little things to do and then tomorrow I'm delivering it. Hopefully we'll be able to get it installed and I really want to get uh, some good photos of it after the glass has put been put in it and after it's got its catch because that's the other thing I don't have the catches for it. So anyway, I've got some little screws here. These are what hold the face in and there's a big piece of glass that goes in in this channel. So I think it turned out pretty spectacular. I'm loving the handles. This thing has some massive weight to it. It's very heavy. Um, and will handle the glass as well. So anyway, that's it for this build and uh, not sure what we're going to do next. I have um, several projects that I want to do in here in the shop that I for the garage and it looks like I got time to do them. So it'll either be an anvil base, uh, repairing a post leg vise, um, or I might start building a, I need a light fixture for in our dining room. I might forge something for that. So who knows what's next. So until next time, bye.